morning, FSG. How are you doing? Hey, Ox, how's it going? Not too bad, not too bad. It's got a bit chilly here in Hana, Indiana. No snow yet, though. Yeah, it has indeed. A bit frosty on the ground there. No it snow. No. So it looks like a good day for hauling. It is. So we've uh, jumped forward from November to January. Uh, all the fields are doing their thing. I uh, see so we've growing a good crop of weeds in that field that we uh, put the anhydrous in. They obviously appreciated the boost in fertilizer. That's right, yes, they need uh, a little bit of uh, attention at some point, but we'll not worry about that today. No, no, but the uh, key thing is that our barley and dried corn are both at some good prices, so we're going to get those down to some sale points. Yep, we're going to do that, and uh, there is quite a lot to shift, isn't there? So uh, we could yeah. be hauling for a while. We could be, we could be. Makes a change from what I did last week. <laughs> yes. So, um, I'll let you have first dibs on the trucks as you... Uh, as this is your second round of hauling. Yeah, perfect. All right, I might actually take the Kenworth then. I think I ran the Mac most of last week. Go for it. Awesome. Oh, not much to do. Go and jump in the truck and get going. Do we going to do the barley first and then the corn, or do you want to... Yeah, let's think? do that. Let's just do it in order. Yeah, all right. Oh, it looks like your truck's closest to the uh, bins, so I'll let you go and get started and uh, follow you down. All right, mate. Cool. Let's get on with it. Yeah, have fun. Hello everyone, welcome back to Hannah Indiana with myself and the farm some guy. Just having a look there, it is 11.11 on the 1st of January. So we're 11.11.1.1 at the moment. And there we go. So uh, FSG's going to jump into the Mac. We're going to take the big beautiful Kenworth. We spent a lot of time in the Mac last week, so uh, let's try this one out for today. Let's see how it goes. Going to jump into here, get things cranked up. Should have probably started them up a wee while ago and let them warm up a little bit here on this cold day, but uh, we'll be just fine. So I'm not sure what FSG is going to be taking first, but hard to tell, but it does look to me like he might be taking the barley there out of the bins. So uh, we'll get that down, and that has to go to the cell point that where we ran to last week. Uh, the dried corn, on the other hand, that will be going to a separate cell point at the, uh, at the feed mill. So we'll go and get all that over to there. All right, so FSG is full and off heading out the road i'm going to get in under here get our tarp opened up about there's the spot and we'll just scroll through there we go barley so we get to getting the uh, trailer here full and then we'll be on our way all right and there we go Sixty thousand liters of barley in the back of the truck so power things up head on down the road get turned out here hopefully we don't hit any ice or anything it's nice and warm it's not too cold but uh We've dodged the snow so far. We'll wait and see. There is a little bit of forecast later in the day. Not that you'd look, think it looking around with this uh, bright sun out, but it is just a little bit on the chilly side. So head on down and uh, go and get this all unloaded. See what we're going to make off a trailer load. And uh, then we'll be able to do a bit of maths and figure out exactly what we might make for the day. We're just pulling in here. FSG's just over the uh, unload point there. Just wait for him to get things unloaded. I see our money is going up, but it seems to be going up in sort of fits and starts. I don't know if he's having issues with his... Uh, Hopper's opening or anything like that, but you can see we're getting that 10% environmental bonus, which is nice. I'm not sure, is he completely empty? It does look like he is. So I wasn't really watching properly to see exactly how much we went off that truck, but let's just get in here, find ourselves the trigger. A bit further in, there we go. I don't know which uh, which hopper have we got opening this time. The back one again. So we'll just get that one there dumped out. And uh, we'll see what we get off the one hopper, we'll multiply it by two, and we'll know what we're going to get off a truckload. So there we go, we're getting $11,400 per hopper, and $1,300 for our environmental score. So that gives us, what's that, just over $12,500 per hopper, so about $25,000, $25,500 per load, so that's not bad. There's still 560 odd, 580 odd litres, 1,000 litres back in the bins so there's still the better part of nine truckloads to bring down so uh that'll be a good two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars i would expect uh we'll have a look once we're all finished of course we'll be able to do the tally up and see how much we've earned but we'll carry on get back down to the yard and go and get another load not sure what part of the world fsg thinks he's in but nice of him to pull over and let me go past i was trying to hang to the right it's down the right side of the track but uh, he did decide to go off on the grass, which is uh, mighty fine of him. Let's have a look. It looks like he might have gone the whole way around. No, that's my tyre tracks from before. Not seeing his tracks, but that's okay. Get in here again. 
make sure we can get in there. It is pretty tight. It would almost be a little bit easier to go the whole way around, but there we go. That looks pretty good. So there's still 500,000 litres in there, so uh, still a number of loads to go, which is good. Good money to be made. Anyhow, yeah, we'll get this filled up and uh, get going with a few more loads, and then I think we'll jump into a bit of a time lapse. Go and get all of this sold, and uh, we'll see once we've done the, the barley how much money we've made, and then we can uh, jump into the corn. So we're back here at the yard and we are just getting pulled in here. I do believe we will be taking the last load of barley. In fact, I think it's only half a hopper full. So we should be able to get in here, get the tarp open, pop in there, there 19, almost 20,000 litres of barley. So what we will do is we'll fill this front hopper up, take it complete with the barley, and then we'll actually put some dried corn in the back so we can uh, be a bit more efficient as we go down there to sell. It's no point running half a truck down when we're going to pretty much the same place to sell the corn. So just pull that forward. Right about there, should be good. Let's see if we can find our dried corn. There it is, 418,000 litres. So if I take 30,000, that'll leave us 390, which is the better part of six and a half trips. And uh, the better part of getting us close to a million dollars in the bank account. So uh, it's going very well, very easy. Just the one troublesome uh, vehicle crossing that we have to get over, train crossing. But there we are, we've got that all loaded up. Saw so FSG just streaking down the road as I was looking across the field. So we might just park up here and uh, we'll wait for him to come in. Have a little bit of a chat to him about progress so far and uh, how quickly we're going to get through this dried corn and then figure out if there's actually going to be anything else to do today. All good, Ox? Yeah, good, mate. We've uh, just ended out of barley and I've taken half a hopper of corn already so racing through it stuff yeah we are i'm uh, avoiding looking at how much money we're making i've left my hud off the whole time oh so. have you i won't say anything then i want a surprise at the end yeah, all right all right surprises uh, i'm gonna sell everything and we won't have anything left anyhow <laughs> 
So we're uh, slightly a different sell point for the corn, isn't it? It's the other side of the road. Yeah, over at the field, feed mill, they take uh, dried corn over there. So and there's a drive through on the left hand side as you enter the gate. So head on down through there and you'll be able to unload and get it rid of it. Excellent, mate. Right, let's push on again. Yeah, keep hauling. Keep hauling. Where do you come up with these corny things, Argsy? Keep on trucking. Could have said that too. But uh, we are going to keep on going. Get on back down for another few loads and uh, see how we go. So, we'll skip from the time lapse. We'll go into a little bit of a montage and uh, get things sorted doing that. But uh, before we do that, we will go down. And I have been keeping an eye on how much money we're making. So, we'll get down there, we'll get these two unloaded, and we'll go and have a look and see if we can make a bit of a guess on how much we're going to make off all the corn. So first things first, let's get in under here, there we go, we've got the trigger for the barley, so we're just going to get the last of this barley unloaded, and uh, there's a reason I've come and done it this way, because I want to be able to have a look in our income uh, window, in the uh, menu there, under the money side of things, how much exactly we've made off the barley, so 7.5 grand for that, plus the $868 environmental score, but let's just have a quick look at that screen now. There we are, $258,669 of harvest income and just short of $30,000, $229,921 there, which is our uh, precision farming bonus. So about $288,000, $289,000 off the barley, so that's pretty impressive. Looking forward to the corn though, because I do think with the dried corn there's potential to make even more. And looks like we might be getting a little bit of snow falling in this beautiful sunny bright blue sky never fails to surprise all right so here we are this is the trigger so we should be able to get our dried corn going in there so let's have a look what we're going to earn off this watch it go down there and get rid of 30,000 liters watch the money climb up fantastic just about done and there we go 22,388 plus 2,500 so uh, basically another $25,000 that's going to be 50 grand per truckload so certainly potential to make a whole lot more money off this than we did off the barley which is fantastic but probably reflects as well the volume of land that we harvested because I'd say we had quite a lot more corn than we did our barley at the time so uh, there's certainly a reason we've got that extra anyhow Let's carry on, we'll jump into a little bit of a montage here as we're hauling corn and we'll catch you when we're done. We're just getting the last of our hoppers emptied out. There is half a load still coming down. FSG has got that, so we've got the last full truckload. But uh, that is going down, and we should hear the sound very soon. Tell us it's empty. Uh, I've kept my HUD hidden the whole time on this, so I've actually got no idea. There we go, that's the sound. I've actually got no idea how much we've made either. So we'll head back. Uh, we'll meet FSG back there once he's delivered his truck, and uh, we'll figure out exactly how much we've made today. But I'm looking forward seeing how much money there is in the bank account I think we are going to be looking pretty rosy to be able to repay some of that debt well Oggs I think we might have timed that perfectly as the weather's starting to turn 
It was getting pretty greasy out there, I don't know about you, but uh, it was pretty tough conditions to drive in in the end there. Yeah, with a full load on it, uh, yeah, it was getting a bit hairy, wasn't it? It was a little bit, it was a little bit, but uh, yeah, you're certainly right, the snow's starting to come down now. That's a good day's work though, and certainly financially for us. Well, I've, I've had my hut hidden since we started doing the corn, so I haven't even seen the end result yet. Well, I have. I've just checked now, but oh, I'll leave on, on, yeah. Yeah, a million dollars. I was, Over a million. I was saying on the way as I was coming back, uh, I thought we'd be pretty close to cracking the million dollars, which is nice, but uh, we've done it quite comfortably. We have indeed. We have indeed, and that bodes well for uh, next season as well. We should get this deck cleared and um, be on our way. Hmm, hmm. Well, we've still got soybeans to sell yet, and uh, obviously a few pigs in that too, so certainly does bode very well for being able to clear the debt and uh yeah look to move on leave the farm in someone that's else's right. capable hands that's right that's right so um that's probably it isn't it for this episode well relatively short one i'm guessing by the time we edit all this together i'd say so i'd say so but unless the snow comes down and we needed to clear the yard a little bit there's really not much else to do now until wait for the corn to plant that's right yeah we'll wait till the weather turns in the new year so Alright, well, I'm going to head off somewhere sunny. You enjoy your time and catch you in a couple of months. Slash a week. Yes, indeed, mate. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, you too, man. Enjoy. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, cheers, buddy. Bye. Bye. Well, we did say that the uh, snow started coming out of some pretty clear skies, but it was only a few flakes at that stage. It's certainly coming down and almost horizontal now out of a much more overcast sky, which is uh, nice to see. But look at that. Those bins are empty. And we are over a million dollars. We still do have the soybeans to sell as well. Uh, so a lot of uh, a lot of income still to be made, which will take us even closer to that two million dollars debt and being able to pay pay down some of that. We will have a chat to FSG at some stage about clearing some of that out now and uh, reducing that as well, so we're not paying as much on interest charges and anything like that. But we do have a uh, few weeds in here. Surprised at how much they've grown. Without a crop in there, but I suppose we did uh, loosen the soil up and give the chance for them to germinate. But anyway, from a very cold and snowy Hannah, Indiana, from the farm some guy and myself, thank you all very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed that episode, and we'll catch you in the next one. Just need you to tell me your best dad joke again, and we're good to go. Um, Google announced today that they had worked out a way of reading maps backwards. Then I realised it was just spam. But a bump. Hey Args, how's it going? Not too bad FSG, how about yourself? I'm not too bad, uh, a little bit under the weather, a bit of a cold, but other than that, all is good. Yeah, did you pick that up over winter, did you? Yes, I think so, yeah, it's been right. a cold winter. Oh, good thing we are into April though, and able to start on some planting, getting some corn in the ground. That's right, the three fields we anhydrous in the last episode, or last episode but one, um, are... Yep, sitting and waiting for some crops in them. Oh, they're completely full of weeds, aren't they? So we're going to spray it first, aren't we? Yeah, I think that's the plan. And you haven't used the spray yet, so well, you could have a run around and sort of do a pre-emergent spray on the herbicide and I can plant them behind you. Sounds good. Quite excited to do like that spray. Mm, mm. And you'll race through that, so no doubt by the time I've maybe got halfway through a field, you'll probably be done and able to jump in and plant too. That's right, yep. So shouldn't take too long. Sounds like a plan. And um, the other thing, we were just looking, we've got a few more pigs as well. We have. We've got another 120 pigs have uh, been born. So mm. uh, 
our little pig empire is growing down on the other side of the map. Indeed. Axine if you achieve branded bacon coming soon. Sounds great. It does sound great. I'd probably eat it all before I got to market though. Yeah, it's it's a it's a, it's a high risk strategy. <laughs> it is. It is. All right. Well, let's stop thinking about food and go and uh, get some corn planted. Let's do it, mate. All right. Yes, hello everyone, welcome back to Hannah, Indiana, and welcome back to Spring and Spring Planting. We are jumping straight into it. We've skipped through a few seasons, or a few months at least, got through winter. And the only task we obviously had was all that crop to sell, and the next crop we've got to sell I think is our soybeans in July, so we've got a bit of time to wait. So we are going to be getting in and getting started with some planting. Now, I was actually thinking of taking the case planter out, because I think we used the uh, Kinsey last time, but I'm just looking at it might be easier to get the Kinsey out than getting the case out, so we might actually be stuck with which one we take. I'm not going to really run around and double handle them or anything like that, so uh, we will go and grab a tractor. I think we have one of the fence uh, lined up for this, and we will go and make a start on some planting. Not sure if we've got any seed in the uh, in the hoppers or anything like that, but we'll be able to grab some out of the bins, and obviously these run off liquid fertilizer, which we have a nice big tank of there. In fact, we've got more liquid fertilizer than we need. 89,000 litres sitting in there. Hopefully it hasn't gone stale, um, but we will find out. Anyhow, let's go and find a tractor. We'll get ourselves hooked up and figure out what we need to do to get some seed and fertilizer ready and go and make a start off some planting. All right, backed up here. We'll just get that all hooked up and hitched up. And uh, we're just having a look there. We've got 38% uh, seed and we're full of fertilizer. Must have the last time we planted obviously didn't have to apply any fertilizer when we were putting in the soybeans which makes sense of course they're not a very fertilizer hungry crop which is good so while i'm thinking about it I'll just get this pulled out here we are going to get have to get some seed but i'm just going to change that across to our corn now to make sure we are planting the right crop and have a look there and think we've got the herb yes we have got the lids open there we go got those open and stacked down there in between so we'll go and find which bin's got our seed in it, move the conveyor over and get that all set up and hopefully uh, we can get that filled. I think, I'm pretty sure this is our seed bin, it is our seed bin here. Right, let's get this into position and uh, we'll try and get some seed into the back of the planter. FSG to Ox. Go ahead mate. Uh, just wondering what field you want to start in and I'll get started in there first. Um, I'm easy mate, you can pick one. Maybe if you wanted to go and start on the furthest field, the small one, um, then it's probably more efficient when we're both working in the bigger fields. That makes total sense. Very good. All right. So glad you, so glad you're here. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that. Well, there goes FSG. He is off to go and start spraying. We're just trying to get in here under this uh, conveyor and get things filled up. And I do recall from last time we had quite a few issues actually getting the trigger on this Kinsey uh, planter. It was quite a small little trigger box we had to try and find for the auger so I'm just going to fiddle around here a little bit see if I can get that in the right spot there we go found it look at that magic and uh, we'll let that keep going there we are 100% full so we'll get that all turned off and I'm just checking I'm just looking up we do have our application rate for our fertilizer application at automatic at the moment so we don't have to do anything else there so we can head on down and uh, go and follow FSG into the field and make a start doing some planting Right, we've let FSG go around the field once. You can see he come in, He is coming along there. Uh, I was waiting to see if he was going to go and tidy up this little bit that he missed along the edge. It's like he's going to. Hopefully he's not going to take out the uh, irrigator there, the pivot. But uh, he has got that all tidied up. So we're going to jump in now, get things unfolded. And we will start going around the field. Uh, it's not going to take him long. Too many passes to get it all finished off. But here we go. You can see the uh, scene spray technology working well there on the sprayer. And just doing that little section of weeds along the edge which is perfect we will get things in here we'll get our planter unfolded we'll back into the corner of the field and uh, we'll make a start on getting some corn planted and there we are i've got things unfolded we've got the uh, fans and everything all turned on see so as we drop things down we get a big cloud of dust and we are able to get in here and to start planting now I'm just going to quickly hop out and we're just going to have a quick look here make sure everything's working how it should Looks like we're getting some rows planted in there. Of course the weeds are just going to hang around. They'll be here till we're finished. But uh, at least we've dealt with them now. And we're not going to have any issues with them. Although it does say weed growing and weeder. So I'm a little bit worried. We might be wasting our time here. Or we're going to have to go through and deal with weeds once more in the future. Uh, we'll see. We'll have a chat to FSG. A little bit of lag there. Excuse that. But uh, we'll have a chat to FSG when we get a little bit further on. Now one thing I've noticed. If you... 
look closely doesn't look like our multi-terrain angle is working on the map uh, that's to do we did update the map with the terrain shader issues that happened with the latest update of farming simulator so it does look like we have missed out on getting those uh that multi-terrain angle working quite how it was uh, so we're just going to have to live with having the funny angles there just the two directions but uh that'll do we'll be fine anyhow let's carry on get into things hopefully this little bit of lag isn't going to be an issue for me and uh we'll get through this field and catch up with you again soon. That's the first field done, all planted with our corn. And once you get on the up and down rows, the uh, lack of multi-terrain angle, which I'm guessing is the terrain shader issue that arose in uh, the recent update. I think that's what has caused it. Uh, but once you get on the up and down rows, it's not quite so bad. But there we go. We've used, what, 62% of our seed and only 20% of our fertilizer, which makes sense because we obviously put the anhydrous on these fields first. I haven't actually looked at the... Uh, at the nitrogen map just to see what it looks like but I'm hoping it is a nice shade of green and exactly what our corn needs there we are, we've got that all folded up I was chatting to FSG before he is uh, into the big field he's finished the one here next to us so hopefully we can get around the headlands a couple of times before he's finished it in here with the planter and then he'll come and give us a hand and get going as well um, but before we do go, like he's carried on seeding but I'm just going to hop out here and have a look and see we've got this weeds growing thing going on here but yeah not sure. Some places we do have it. I wonder if we're getting the patchy weeds coming through. Not sure. Not sure what's going on there. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. But it does say growing and it does say we can do it with a weeder, which means they're still at the small growth stage. So we'll just have to keep an eye on those. And uh, if we have to get back in and spray, it hasn't taken too long, apart from the cost of the herbicide, which isn't ideal. But hey, it's the challenges you face as a farmer, isn't it? Right, let's get our. Uh, planter unfolded in here and we'll just carry on with getting some more planting done.
Well, that's just about our two headland passes done, uh, but I'm just looking at our seed. We're getting down to about 13% left, so I'm going to take the opportunity while we're here, right next to the yard. We'll uh, pop in and get this all topped up. Uh, can't see FSG over here yet, so he must still be going on as a spraying. Can't have too much to go, though still in the field, but there we go. Get that lifted up. Turn it off, and uh, we'll fold it up so we can go and get some more seed put into it. But uh, like I said before, everything is just going swimmingly. Nothing to complain of. Uh, the weeds don't look the best, the dead weeds, and the terrain angle is a little bit frustrating. But other than that, we're getting through and getting our corn planted, which is good. Uh, it'd be good to obviously make a whole lot more money off that, like we did uh, with the loads that we've just got sold. So we'll head on over here, and uh, we'll get backed up there to the conveyor. In fact, we might even try and drive straight in underneath it. Uh, I seem to figure out where the trigger was. Hopefully we've got it high enough we can fit underneath. I'm a little bit nervous now that we've got not quite high enough. Just dodged it. Not missing it, not hitting it. No, we're missing it. Right. Let's see if we can go far enough forward to try and get it under the... Uh... No, we haven't got that lined up very well. Right, we'll have another go and uh, we'll see if we can get that in a good position to be able to fill it up. Alright, there we go. We found it. We've got it in the right spot now, although, ah, there we go. It is going to fill up completely. Alright, so we'll get the lids put back on there. Now, I did just hear FSG come in on the other side of us. You can see actually he's getting the other fent backed out, and I'm assuming he will go and get a planter hooked up. But maybe we'll take a chance to have a chat to him while we're just here. How's it going, mate? Yeah, good. I've just done the headlands in this field, so uh, you'll be able to jump straight in and get on some up and down rows. Yeah, perfect. Unless you, want, unless you want to start in the other field, of course. You can go and start in that one. Up to you. No, I'll muck in and help you, and then we can do the big field together. All right, sounds good. Spraying went weird. Yeah, very easy. Yeah. Very slick. Nice, nice. I was just saying before, uh, it looks like we might be getting some weeds growing already after the corn, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something to worry about another day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, frustrating, but anyhow, it is what it is. Right, I'll leave you to go and get hooked up, and uh, I've got the conveyor all set up for the seed for you, so you should be all good to go. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. No worries. So, time to get back on to our GPS path here in the field. Get the planter all unfolded again, and hopefully, hopefully we'll have enough seed to go to the end now. We might not have to get it filled up. We'll have to wait and see. We've effectively, because FSG will be in here helping us, we've effectively filled planters twice, haven't we? We'll see. Sounds uh, reasonable in my head, but whether it works out in practice will be another thing. Anyhow, get that lowered down. Hopefully, it does look like we're going to have a nasty little strip just there that doesn't get planted, uh, planted. That's right, we'll turn a blind eye to that. Right, we'll carry on and uh, we'll hopefully see FSG here in the field with us very, very soon. Well, FSG is going to head down that last pass and get that done, but we are all finished in that field. So I think, we're going to try and do what we did last time actually. I'm just going to try and sneak around the end here, like we did when we had the uh, had the anhydrous toolbars out. 
and I think we should be able to fit as long as there's nothing coming behind us I should have checked that I actually get a funny feeling we've got traffic turned off at the moment oh no there's some cars up there we only get the occasional car coming along this part of the world but there we go right I'm just going to get turned in here and get things set up and uh, we're going to get started again in this part now I've actually been planning for a while to actually run the landscaping tool along the edge of this field and just get rid of that grass so I might just do that very quickly uh, get rid of the field right up to the edge of the road seems a bit silly we wouldn't be doing that so might just quickly sort that out while we wait for FSG to run through there and then we can jump onto the headlands of this field there we go I think that looks much better doesn't it than what it did look like a uh, much nicer edge of that field a couple of little spots there where I just got a little bit out of alignment but uh, all in all it's going to make it much easier and much better to work along that edge so backed up in here I wonder if fsg has gone the other way because I would have thought he might be back in the field he may have gone up through the yard uh, but get that turned on get it lowered down we will start heading off around this one and uh, get this done 68% seed left so I reckon we should be pretty good pretty good to get this finished what do we use 30% to finish that one off yeah could be touch and go actually thinking about that twice as much seed for twice as big a field let us see where we end up ah uh, yes there is as I suspected he had come through the yard and started up at this end of the field so uh, that's probably going to work out good actually because his planter does run faster than this one so it means he'll be going around the headland in front of us and we'll be able to do the second pass and uh, when he gets down to the bottom he'll be able to do the second pass for this little section uh, and by the time we get back we will have two good passes done should work out just perfectly and uh, then we'll be able to get into the body of the field and get it knocked out must admit I've been having a few little little glitches just like that it's been a bit laggy on the server tonight so it hasn't been too bad in recent times but uh, just today not having the best run of it but that is what it is the joys of playing on a multiplayer server you can't always have a perfectly uh, perfectly smooth experience particularly when you're trying to host a server between New Zealand and Australia and have a spot that works for both of us for our connections I just said New Zealand and Australia New Zealand and Scotland at least I didn't say New Zealand was Australia anyhow enough jibber jabbing let's carry on and get the field done the further we move on from all those yesterdays happiness gets nearer The light that we see closing in so fast ahead It's hope, it's getting clearer The more I think of all the tough times we survived The more it makes me smile If nothing's broken us, yeah nothing never will Cause dreams are hard to kill Well, we've just run out of seed and uh, just looking at the field and chatting to FSG there's only about four more passes left so he's going to finish that off for us we are going to pull in over here and give the planter a good wash because it is filthy get it put away and uh, then by the time we've done that it will probably be all good and uh, be done so get backed up in here and uh, get this all done well, there we go washed and put away so that is that job done right let's go and park the tractor in the shed and uh, then we'll go and see how FSG's going like I said he should only have a pass or two left there won't be much at all not anything or anyone will hold us back no matter what the cost and I know
Hey, Ox, that's all three fields done. That Ex was very quick. Yeah, it was. Excellent job. Uh, very nicely done indeed. Well, I guess that's it now. We put our feet up till the uh, harvest is ready. Oh, we were just talking about that, weren't we? Next thing's probably going to be harvesting. Depending what happens with weeds in these fields, of course. We might have to tackle those again, but yeah, harvesting next. That's right, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a very quick job, as we've seen today. So uh, hmm. yeah, no, uh, the crops are looking good. I was just looking at the field over here as well. It's looking really nice. Yeah, I was having a look at that before too. It does look very, very good. Should get a good yield off it. I don't know what its potential is looking like, but... Uh, we're on expected 92%, yield potential 100, so uh, okay. a little bit below, but uh, still looking like a really nice crop, isn't it? It does, it is. Very good, alright, well, uh, I suppose there's nothing left to do, go and give everything a clean, put it away, and uh, like you say, put our feet up. That's right, right, I'll see you back at the yard. Alright. Alright, well we started the episode by opening that door to get the planters out, and we're going to finish the episode by closing it to put them away. And we are all done again. Now I bet she's over there commenting about my tractor not being clean. Because I washed the uh, I washed the planter but not the tractor. Let's go and see what Mr. FSG has to say for himself. Well Alex, another good day's work done. Yes, nicely done. Good to get all that corn planted and nice to be back here into spring. And uh, looking forward to another season of getting crops harvested, planted, whatever else. Yep, yep. Nope, we're, uh, we're looking good. And... Uh... Hopefully, we'll get that debt cleared and we can start thinking about what's next. Hmm, indeed. I was just thinking we should probably actually throw some of that money the bank's way, but it's, it just looks so nice in our bank account. It does. Let's keep hold of it for a little bit longer. Yeah, right. I'm down for that. <laughs> right, mate. Thank you. Yes, no, thank you as well. Enjoy the rest of your week and uh, we'll do it all again next week, eh? Sounds like a plan to me. Excellent. Have a good week and we'll see you then. Yeah, have a good one too, mate. All right. See you soon. See ya. Bye. Well there we go, another episode done and dusted, corn planted and uh, looking forward to getting in and harvesting some crops. Uh, and this barley does actually look really nice, I've actually enjoyed the uh, the look on it, it's such a nice looking plant, it's actually got a great detail in it and uh, the sway and everything like that as you look across there, it does look very very inviting. So looking forward to seeing that turn a nice shade of gold and being able to pull out our big three combines and uh, get in there and get started on it. So until then. From the farm some guy and myself thank you all very much for watching hope you've enjoyed that episode and we'll catch you in the next one Hello FSG, how are you doing? Morning Uggs, how's things? Not too bad, thank you, not too bad. Looking forward to another day's work. Yeah, and I can see some rather golden crops behind you there. Yes, indeed, our barley does look very much ready to uh, ready to go, I think, so it might be a day of combines and grain carts. Yep, I can think of worse days we could have. Um, I did notice as well that the weeds have crept back into our corn, but we'll uh, we'll maybe worry about that another time or later on. Mm, yeah, we were just saying before that we've got the little field over the road to do as well with the barley, so if uh, if we get time, maybe someone can spray while the other harvests that field. That's right, but uh, for starters, I think we'll get into the big uh, get into the big barley field behind us. Yeah, jump straight into it. I, th I was just trying to think, this will be the third time we've harvested that field now, won't it? It will, yeah. Mm. That was our very first field when we started here, so uh, yeah, we're, uh, we've been here a while now. We have been, have been, putting down roots. Right, well, I guess we'll go get uh, some combines out. We're going to run those on, we'll get some helpers to drive the combines, and you and I are going to manage the uh, logistical side of things. Yep, that sounds like a good idea. I'll go and get the truck, and shall I get the grain carts lined up? Yeah, perfect. All right, I'll go and see if I can find some combines. We've got to get headers, and well, there's all sorts to do. All right, well, you get the combines. I'll grab the headers first and foremost. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Let's get to it. Cool.
Hello everyone, welcome back to Hannah Indiana here with the farm some guy. Now it's always nice opening up this shed, big big doors and uh, seeing three those three girls sitting there ready to go. Well not quite ready to go, we've obviously got to get them out and get headers and everything on them, but uh, they are for all intent purposes ready to go and get hooked up and go and start on the barley. I do notice we managed to put this one here away, unfolded or it's been inadvertently unfolded at some point in here because uh, I would have thought we would have folded it up. I'm trying to remember what we harvested last, it was, uh, what's the corn? Corn or the soybeans? Probably the soybeans actually, but anyhow, it is what it is. So, we're going to jump in here, we've got the new Holland and the two class combines to get out, FSG's gone to grab the headers, so we'll get in here, get the engines started up, and we'll make our way back out through the door. Now this one, as you can see, this shed is perfect for this hopper, because it just leaves just enough space, and even more so as we go out the door. Could not be a much tighter fit than that if we tried. But look at that, there we go, first header already in place. So I think we can probably back up in here, get this one all turned in, unhooked, and that'll allow FSG. Oh, he's going to leave the trailer there, that's fine. We'll pop this back in around here, bump into the header a little bit aggressively, drop the uh, straps off the back and we will be good to go so we better back this right out of the way so we've got enough space to get the other combines out and connect it up to headers too so we might just park this one back up in here and uh, that should allow us enough space to get the others out so we'll go and do that get those all sorted and uh, then it's time to get the trucks grain carts and everything else like that already as well i was just checking all the combines as we got them out and the third of the lexians here or the second of the lexians the third combine needed a bit of diesel in it, in fact it needed quite a little diesel in there so we're just going to leave that there to fill up, looks like FSG's back here with the next header so we'll uh, try and get this all hooked up, we might have uh, sold them a little bit short with space but if we just jump up into this one, so you can see that this one's got plenty of fuel so we shouldn't have any issues with getting the fields done with that but we'll just get pushed in here, there we go, that looks like it's in about the right spot now we do need to drop the wheels off in fact, to save FSG having to manoeuvre the trailer around, perhaps we'll turn this around and put it on the right way to start off with. I've always wondered why those don't just back straight up and reconnect to each other. It feels like it's just a little bit round the wrong way. I don't know if that's the way it is in real life, but it does just seem a little bit backwards. Anyhow, now, if I remember correctly, we're actually going to struggle to get our combines through here, aren't we? We've had this issue before, I had this dilemma. And our headers don't actually fit through here between the shed and the grain bins. So we might have to uh, sacrifice a little bit of corn to go and get into this field. But anyhow, let's leave that one there. Go and grab the other one which is fueling up. And we'll have a chat to FSG about how exactly we're going to get ourselves into the field. Might be easy, even easier to go through up over in this corner than to run the whole way around the shed. We're just going to move the truck out of the way here. We don't quite need it in the field yet. So we might just park it in here uh, next to the silos. But I think... Just having a look, and haven't talked to FSG about it yet, but I reckon we might try and cut our way over through that corner of the field. Sacrifice a little bit of corn over there, rather than the long-winded way we have to go around the other way. So, should be enough room. Come across here, we just cut across this corner, and get into the field here. Hopefully we have enough clearance underneath the power lines. Should be alright. I think we've had no issues with them elsewhere, but look at that. That's a beautiful looking crop. I said it last week when uh, we were looking at it growing still. It does look very good. Right. We'll go, and, uh, we'll go and find FSG, got all the headers on, we've got the truck ready, just need to grab a couple of grain carts, but we might go and try and get a combine underway, so that we can at least get some of this field all opened up, and give us some space to get in there. Alright, well we're just going to go in here, and you can see we're losing a little bit of our crop, we'll try and minimise that as much as we can, FSG's probably going to have a look at him and go, why would you turn crop destruction on, but... Let's just accept the fact we are going to have to do this. We did have to do this. In hindsight, I think FSG made the point to me there just as we were chatting about it. We uh, probably should have I'll unfold the header there, uh, unfold the combine. We probably should have brought one combine in here. We could have uh, opened the field up and then had enough space to drop the combines in and attach the headers in the field. But anyhow, hindsight is a glorious thing. We'll just get this through here. Cut this along and we'll get ourselves set up on some course play and we'll be able to use that for all the fields uh, all the other combines as we move forward all right so i've got a course loaded this is the same course we've used before so uh we didn't have to battle around with it in any way shape or form it is all set up so we've got this one set up here on left 
We're just going to head along here. I was going to set it to start from the nearest waypoint, but of course it would get down here and think it was already three quarters or nine tenths of the way around the field. But if we do it this way, we'll just drive up here, cutting open this part of the field, and uh, once we get up here to the start point, we can tell it to go from the start point, and then it should be running around the field and get the headlands all opened up, which is good. We're already 25% in here. If we just bring up our map, we should be able to see. Not a bad looking yield. It's looking, uh, it's in the green anyhow, which is always positive. Always nice to see crops yielding in the green. Right, so that is about our first waypoint, and now we might just uh, just leave that while we get the other ones all in here, so we can have them running around a little bit closer. So we'll just leave that one parked there and go and find the other combines, bring them in as well. So that is all three combines here in the field, all up and going, and we've just pressed go here on this one. Now, looking like we're missing just a little bit down the edge. Hopefully that's uh, going to sort itself out. There we go, it's rectified now. So we will go and be able to press play here on these other two and we should see everything off and moving. FSG's got the trucks, well they've got the truck and got the two grain carts in here. Looks like we're running the versatiles on those today. So if we get this header turned back on, bring up our course play. We're at first waypoint, we should be able to press play there on that one, hopefully. That is going to start running along as well. There we go, that's getting harvesting, which is perfect. And leave that worker going. And then finally, we're going to jump over here into the New Holland and get this one up and underway. We'll turn the header on. We just need to go forward just a touch because the course play start point is probably right about there. So we'll just press play there as well for that one. Looks like they might be doing a little bit of a wait, but there we go. All three combines up and moving. So our job is going to be to keep them moving. Uh, the lead combine's already got 35, it's probably almost got 50% full because of that first opening so we might have to get in and go and get that one done pretty quickly but we're just going to see well, there he is it's just hanging out behind us all looking very smooth arcs yeah up and underway which is good the first combine is going to get full pretty quick that was already 35 percent just doing this short little piece here oh was it the yield on this place is actually really good yeah it's not looking bad did i see Yeah, 95, 99% yield, so 12.9 mm. tonnes to the hectares, yeah. Going to keep us busy, which is good. Which is good. See. Right, we better run some trucks then. Yeah, yeah, go and get the grain carts chasing some of those combines and uh, making sure we keep them moving. Because otherwise that, in fact, right. it's backing up already. I think it's getting ready to cut in and be unloaded. Surely not. Looks like it. Oh, we're going to be busy then. Either that or Sarah's driving and she's about to steal her combine. True. Yeah, it's happened before. It has happened. Right, well, we better get going. All right. Look at that. It is. It's ready to unload. So that was uh, did not take very long for that combine to get full. We've only gone. What are we? Halfway down the field? Maybe a little bit more. That probably means it's going to be full after another. Uh, well, full three times off a lap. So I can't recall exactly how many loads these grain carts take, but I think for efficiency, it might be best to let FSG full up off of these three and uh we'll then follow around as they go around further while he's coming back to empty into the trucks but we'll let him figure things out let him get up there and get things unloaded and then once we can get that lead combine moving and keep it moving we shouldn't have any issues with these back two getting held up like they are at the moment because no one likes to burn diesel and having workers paid to go nowhere so i think we always enjoy a bit of a time lapse when we're driving grain carts so i think that could be a good little opportunity to jump straight into one of those get this field moving and uh Catch up with you once we've made a bit of progress.
So update on progress from the cab of the Versatile here while we wait for the truck to get back and empty into. We're probably well over halfway through. It feels nice and open. Uh, the three combines are still running there in tandem. Looks like one's full and FSG's just about to get down there and empty them out. Uh, really blown away with the yield we're getting off this crop. It is, uh, it's keeping us busy. It's keeping us on our toes. And I was just saying we could almost do with having a second truck up and running just to avoid this little bit of downtime but uh, it's good FSG set this up on auto drive and it's working pretty well and uh, keeping things moving which is good so I think we'll be able to power through get this field here all finished off and uh, then we'll have a look about whether we go over finish off the one over the road as well as getting in and tackling the weeds uh, I think one person on their own with a grain cart and a combine should be able to keep on top of that little field over the other side but we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of a chat about it once we're all finished here but we're just going to carry on get in, unloaded and uh, keep chasing some combines. Almost finished here in field number 12, got the last pass we're running down and last few metres and we'll be all done and uh, like I said earlier, an impressively impressively high yielding crop of barley. It's um, kept us on our toes, kept us busy, kept the truck driver busy and kept the combines very very busy as well which is great, it's nice to have. But there we go, we're going to get to the end here, keep this combine moving and emptied out. Just stopped a little bit too much. And there we are, must have got it emptied because they have now decided that they are finished. So if he's down there, he's looking after those other two combines at the moment. So I might just uh, might just park the grain cart here for a second and uh, jump out because there's a few spots in the corners and that that didn't quite get finished. So while the work has been efficient and folded everything up there, we might actually want to go and get it unfolded and just race around and tidy up some of those spots. Make sure we get as much of the crop off the field as we can. There we go, that's the field all tidied up. So she got another 10% of the hopper off that. I think we were on about 75% uh, full when we started running around and doing that. So we're going to get this dumped into the truck and uh, then we'll be able to pack everything up and move on. Right, and there we are, getting emptied out here into the truck. So we'll just let this run its course. We've still got a bit of grain in the other grain cart, which I think 
Here it is. I was going to say it sounds like FSG's bringing it over. And he has indeed. It's right next to us. So we'll get this done. I get the auger folder back up. And then I think I think we're going to park things up for now. And uh, have a chat about what next. Well, Alex, it's always fun that field, isn't it? It is always fun. It's um, one of those things. You get the headlands opened up and then everything goes really, really easy, really. It was busy, but went well. It was, and, you know, surprisingly high yield for barley, actually. We were unloading the combines more than we were expecting to, I think. Hmm, certainly were. Especially three combines pretty much fills one of those grain carts up, too, so... It was uh, certainly it go, 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 go. I haven't even looked how much barley we got, have you? Nope, I have not had a look. I'm going to sneak a peek now, then. Ah, not bad. 636,000, nearly 637,000 litres. <laughs> that'll, that'll, it's not bad. That'll explain why we were so busy for a lot of it. And, yeah, uh, that'll uh, that'll convert nicely. Yeah, quarter of a million dollars. Point. Looking at the potential for it. Yes, indeed. And I'm just looking there. We've got all those soybeans sitting there, waiting to be sold still too in uh, July. July, yeah, they're not too far away. So, yeah, we're looking good. We are indeed. Hmm. Might be time to uh, get the farm back into a shape it can go to someone else. Yep. Yep. That's always the plan, wasn't it? Hmm. Not far away. Not far away. Right. Well. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I'm feeling the effects of a very long day here, so I think we might just park that other field over the road and pick that up next time. Yeah, no, let's do that, mate. Yeah, you uh, rest up, have a good week, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll hit it again next week. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, take care, and we'll catch you soon. Yeah, take care, man. See All you right. later. Thanks, buddy. Bye. So over 600,000 litres of barley, that uh, certainly kept us on our toes, but uh, very impressed with that yield, and yeah, almost a quarter of a million dollars. Add the uh, potential for the uh, yield bonus that we get for precision farming and it is looking like we could be making a decent amount of money off this and start throwing that on top, throw the soybeans on top, that $2 million debt will be gone hopefully by the end of this season which would be fantastic, be great to get rid of that. But anyhow, as we said, I am uh, I'm needing to hit the hay, it's been a long day and uh, this was a nice way to wrap it up get this all done with FSG and uh, have a bit of a chat with them and look forward to doing it all again next week so tune in for that but for now I hope you've enjoyed that episode thank you all very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one Hello, Arx. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Found some guy. How are you? Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. That's uh, good. Another day on the farm. It is another day on the farm, and uh, we were just talking about what we're going to get done, and there's plenty still to do. There is indeed. We've still got uh, one field of barley down at the bottom by the entrance mm -hmm. to the farm, haven't we? Yep. And uh, we've got all those weeds to respray because we did it at the wrong time. Yes, yes. So I. It's a bit patchy, so hopefully the the sand spray technology will come into its own for that one. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long, should it? And hmm. then after that, um, the barley fields, we're going to reseed straight away with soybeans because uh, we've got this quite handy uh, crop calendar on this map. Yeah, so we're right in that window for that double cropping with the, uh, the cereal crop and then straight into soybeans. So don't want to miss that window and that opportunity. No, definitely not. Speaking of soybeans, we need so to remember to sell those ones next month too. We do, we do. It's almost like we need an alert or something. When the price is right. Okay, well, um, I think I'll do the combining. I think we agreed that, didn't we? And yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, I'll jump in the sprayer and go and get those weeds done. It'll be interesting, actually. I've got quite a bit of ground to cover, but we'll see, uh, see who gets done first. I know, yeah, a little race. Do you want a hand bringing equipment over? No, I'll let you get started. You've got three fields to do, so I'll... Uh... I'll, uh, I should be alright. Okay. I might just take a truck down. I might leave the auger wagon and just leave a truck at the end of the field. Yeah. Remember, it yields quite well, though, so you might not get the whole way around the field. True. True.
So bear that in mind. Find out. Hmm. All right. Have fun. We'll catch up with you a little bit later. Yep. Sounds good. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Hannah, Indiana. See if SG's off to get the combines. They quite, look quite cool lined up there. Don't they? Just peeking out around the shed. We took the headers off and we've left them parked up, so it'll be a little bit easier. Less fluffing around for FSG, but we're going to go grab the uh, John Deere sprayer, that wonderful sprayer from LR Modding. We're going to head in here and tackle the weeds. Now, the weeds are a bit patchy. You can sort of see they're not everywhere. And in fact, we have a look on the map. You can see we've got these really interesting lines where they're only sort of going in one direction, and then we've got the patchy nature that comes with precision farming. So I don't know what's caused that, why we've got it in different ways or whatnot, but uh, it is what it is. We'll go and tackle them because we obviously want to make the most of the yield that we can so uh we will go grab the sprayer and goes fsg with the header uh we've got to go fill it up there is already herbicide in the trailer i have to go and check that just before so we'll go and pull the sprayer out check it's diesel everything like that and uh, then we'll go and get into some spraying and bird fly into the shed just then right let's jump up in here and uh go and get things started well diesel's looking good, we've got more than enough, but we don't have much herbicide in here. Not much left over from when FSG was spraying, so we will head on over here. There's no point pulling the trailer out, we can top up everything from in here. So, once again, this uh, wonderful uh, tender trailer from Perma's Modding. So we think if we just leave the sprayer right about there, we'll go and jump in the truck. And uh, we can turn the little pump there on and we should be able to overload from the truck into the sprayer. Just sitting up in here while we've got the spray trailer selected. Turn the truck on. We should be able to power that up. And straight away we've got the option to overload our herbicide. So that will run into there. Now if we go and jump back over here into the sprayer. We should see that our levels, in fact we can probably stand here and see that our herbicide level has gone up. It's already 37. Step back again. Ah, it must be full is it? Let's have a look. Here it already is full. That was uh, pretty quick, pretty speedy. So we'll leave that there. Uh, go and turn the truck off and then I think we're going to go start in the smaller fields get those two done uh, be nice to run along beside FSG while he's working in the big in the field uh, while we're in this big field so we'll go and uh, make a start so into the field we'll get the booms all unfolded and then we'll uh, go through the process of setting up our guidance steering get our GPS course all lined up now hopefully just looking at that boom as it opens out I think we've just about nailed being in the right rows in fact I'm going to take that and take that as a victory because I reckon we've just about picked that perfectly to be lined up there. Look at that. Ideal. Right, we can probably, because we're in this corn and the corn's a little bit taller, just get to the right controls here and we can raise that back up so we're not knocking all of the tops of our corn off. And we should be able to now put that arm just down just a little bit more, get it more horizontal. There we go. Things turned on here. There we are. And, and as we've talked about before, we do have the seed and spray technology, and you can, can see it working as we drive along, but the server lag seems to, in fact we're not seeing it there, I think it's the server lag which causes us the issue, uh, nothing more, by the time that the sprayer has recognised it's required to spray, in fact it is working, just the angle there with the light, a bit harder to see, but there we go, we're up and going, and uh, spot spraying, which is great, so we'll uh, head along this row, so we had a little bit of overlap there when we were seeding that didn't quite get done. We'll turn our GPS on, set up our uh, course as we run along here. A and B point didn't take long to do because we're going so fast. And there we are, all set up. Turn the lines on. And that looks perfect for the width of the boom and everything like that. So, FSG, you can see he's got the combine down here, gone for the Lexian. Looks like he's picked the one with the tyres, not the tracks. And, uh, well, fortunately, or not fortunately, not quite sure what's going on there, we've got a big rubber band. Some description, what on earth is that? Have to go and have a look at this. Not quite sure what FSG has got going on there. That is, uh, that is interesting. Oh, and he's about to run us over. And he's driving through the truck. In fact, it's almost like the uh, pickup's not there because that truck, that car just went straight through it as well. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, well we'll leave him to it because I'm not sure what I'm seeing. He's harvested a part of the field too. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, we're getting some uh, interesting glitches going on there. 
we'll leave FE Street to it and we are going to go and carry on without spraying. That was most interesting. Well there we go, that is us finished on the spraying, we just have a look in the map. So we've missed a little bit just there, but other than that we've got everything done. So while we've got the sprayer out we'll go back in for and do that. Now I don't know what was happening with the server, but if you watch back closely or if you picked it up during the, the time lapse, you would have seen nothing was moving. FSG was stationary, it looked like he wasn't doing anything. The pickup was parked across the middle of the road, even the traffic wasn't moving. and. We were consuming liquid herbicide, or consuming herbicide at an exorbitant amount of a rate of knots. I, I think I filled up three or four times. Since we restarted the server, so after the last refill, I restarted the server, both logged out, both restarted, and everything's now going swimmingly as it should. We've hardly used any herbicide up, so not sure what was going on. Obviously it's some sort of multiplayer server issue there with synchronization or not sure what it was, I just can't put our fingers on it but uh, that was an issue and uh, we've got it fixed which is good we were starting to panic about what we might do if we uh, had to go back and redo things but there we are we are finished so what I'm going to do now we're going to go and grab a grain cart help FSG out with the last part of that field um, he's been saying that the yields are phenomenal over there so if we can uh, help him by keeping the combine moving with the grain cart then uh, that will be a big help and uh, keep things going and then we can get over here grab a couple of these uh, seed hawks and go and get some soybeans put into the ground. Arx at FSG. Go ahead Arx. 
Let's uh, me all finish with the spraying, so I thought I'd grab a grain card and come over and give you a hand to get that field finished. Yeah, thanks mate. I'm uh, chewing through the most uh, high yielding crop I think I've ever seen. It's crazy. Oh, that's good. Bodes well for uh, earning us more money. It certainly does. Alright, I'm on my way. Roger that. Alright, there you go. We are on our way over. You can see he's got, he's probably about halfway, well he'd be more than halfway because he's onto some shorter rows, but he doesn't have to run back down here to the truck to unload like he had been. We should be able to get it done just that little bit quicker, but now that we know that the traffic's moving, we would quickly check for that. Can't see anything. So let's go, head down and uh, we'll get him unloaded. We'll just uh, get up here next to him. Doesn't look like he's too full, but he's probably going to be okay. Carrying on, we'll let him wrap around there, and uh, oh, he's putting his auger out, so maybe he does want us to unload. We will go around the other side. Here we go, he's waiting for us. We'll go get out whatever's in the bin, just so to make sure he can uh, get to the other end without any issues. Here we go. Still a decent amount in here. Still a decent amount, which is good. There we go, 9,000 litres. So it must almost have been a half a hopper actually for him, so it'd be a good thing we did come and eat down that. Right, well we're just going to race through and get this done, and probably uh, just see when the field's finished. Probably not too much point in recording any of this. I'm sure if you still have some nice uh, time lapse or montage of the harvest anyhow, so uh, go and make sure you check out his perspective. So we're going to leave FSG with just a little section up there, little triangles still to finish off. He'll be able to put that all in to the combine and then he can run it over here and put it in the truck. I figured we might as well head back up to the yard and go and get some uh, cedars sorted out and get things set up and ready so when he's finished over here, these things packed up, we can uh, be straight into some planting. And some soybeans in the ground, which would be great. I think if we had a look at how much, uh, how much we've got in terms of soybeans sitting in the silo at the moment to sell, uh, we'd be looking pretty good. In fact this truck looks like it might just about be full, in fact it will be full by the time we put this in there, if I can get it actually in the truck that would be a good start. Right, there we go. Let's just pull this up a little bit further and it should adjust the spout. Are we going to fit it all into the truck or not? It's going to be touch and go. It does mean that FSG is probably not going to fit it all in. Out of the combine? No, and we can't even fit it all in. Right, well we'll leave the uh, leave the grain cart there. We'll take the truck back over. Go get this emptied out. So we'll get these hoppers emptied out and then we'll actually take a look at how much we've got. I think we had 636,000 litres after doing the big field here behind the bins. So it'll be interesting to see. How much we've ended up with off that little front field. This is the second truck load, so uh, it's at least 120,000 litres that have come out of there, plus whatever is left over in the grain cart and the combine when it gets over here. So maybe looking at 130,000 litres? Not too bad. Not a bad little profit, or not a li bad little uh, yield off that field. And there we go, that is empty. Now, what I might do, just leave the truck here, because uh, what we can do is bring the grain cart over, dump it into the front hopper. And then we can back the truck back up over that and unload it all. It's only 5,000 litres from the combine and the uh, grain cart. It's not a huge amount, but all counts, right? I'm going to get this dumped into the truck, into the bins, and uh, I think then we'll be good to get things started. In fact, we've got to go get those combines out of the field too. Not going to be very easy to uh, plant out there with those all blocking the way. So we'll uh, have to sort that out, and then we'll be able to go and get those soybeans started. It's the last piece of equipment to shuffle. Got the combines and everything out of the way, grain heads are out of the way. Just got to get this grain cart out of the way and then we'll be good. Got those beans, uh, those few bits of barley there to empty into the bin as well. Better not forget about those and leave them in the trailer. Let's bring this in over here. As good a place as any really to leave it parked. If we just stop just before the auger. There we go. Drop that off there and that should be good. We'll pull this around. You want to get hooked up to the other seed hawk? Alright, all topped up, ready to go. Yeah, it took a bit longer than expected. It did, it did. I don't know what all these tyre tracks on the ground are from. Yeah, uh, I've, I've fessed up. I've oh, fessed up to the viewers. Oh, good. Good, yeah. Little accident. These things happen. Right, soybeans. Make sure you've got those selected soybeans. in your planter and uh, 
Go and get some planted. On both planters, mate. Good man. Organised. I like it. Right. You think we've got enough fertiliser in? So, uh, Sword greens don't need fertiliser, do they? I don't know. The nitrogen looks quite low on the field. I don't think soybeans plant with nitrogen. Maybe not. We'll give it a go. We'll yeah, give it a go, shall I think, we? I think we'll be alright. Tell you what. Let's do it. I'll tell you what. If I'm wrong, I'll buy you a drink. Alright. Deal. I'll hold you that. In oh. person. In person. Not long to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. Alright, there we go. You can see we do have soybeans selected. We've had this little bug and discussed this many a time. Uh, it's not a problem that we can still see the wheat. That is just part of how the cedars display. I'm just turning a little bit tight in there. Uh, it's just how they do it. So it is what it is. Once it gets down and out of the first bin, it will display as soybeans selected. So uh, I'll get this unfolded. Got to have a GPS course for this. And uh, we'll see about getting things set up. Hopefully, if SG's just set in my ear, we should have a GPS course set up for these cedars in this field. Because that's uh, what we used last time. So we'll have a look and see what we've got. All right, well, there we go. You can see our lines all set up. We did have a GPS course running, so we'll turn that on, get things going. You can see our soybeans are going down, and of course, our fertilizer is not changing at all because we don't need to. We'll turn our GPS course on, or we're going to not get that planted in the right spot. We'll tidy that up when we finish the headland pass, we'll get that last little bit. Well, there we go. Nitrogen's not going down at all, fertilizer's not going down at all because soybeans require no nitrogen. You can see that on the flag up in the top corner. So. We're underway. Well, Ogs, it looks like I'm buying the drinks. To say I was mildly confident would be an understatement, but uh, I'm sure we've plenty of chance to buy each other one. Well, there we are, all up and underway. Sounds like we're going to get a beer out of FSG when we're uh, over in Scotland very soon, which would be great. No fertiliser being used. Anyhow, I think there's nothing left here. We are just going to crack straight into this field, get these beans planted as uh, fast as we can, get the field all done and dusted we've got the little one over the road to do as well uh, so let's just chop into this work and uh, get as much done as we can
my way down the last past here. If history's gonna go and try and pick those couple of bits up. They never seed. It's something to do with the terrain. It's just a little bit uneven in there, and when you've got a big wide seeder, it just uh, doesn't seem to get very good contact with the ground. So hopefully you can get those sorted. If not, it's not too big an issue in this field. But uh, we've chewed through almost a full hopper of seed there. You can see the soybeans down the bottom. We've got about 100 litres left. Obviously haven't used any of the fertiliser because like we talked about at the start, soybeans don't use nitrogen. So uh, very cheap crop to plant from that perspective. Anyhow, we are just going to head on down this last pass. And uh, I suppose we did talk about doing the field we're just one of us planting the field over the road, but we haven't talked about it, whether we just both shoot down there and get it done. Be a lot faster just to both run around there and uh, just get it finished, really. So we'll see. We'll get to the end of this one and have a chat to FSG. And there we go. Field done. All right. Let's just uh, pause there for a sec. Turn off all the fans. Get the uh, toolbar lifted up. And we'll get those wings on it folded up so we can head on over the road. CFSG down there in the distance, looks like he's got those last couple of pieces tidied up as best he can and uh, we'll be doing the same as what we are. So we'll get over there and have a chat to him. Well all done FSG. Yeah that was, uh, it's always efficient this field, I don't know what it is about it, it's maybe it's just the fact it's square and uh, we were just running at uh, pace. Big long, big long passes too, not too much turning around or anything like that, which makes a difference. That's right, yeah. Very good. Well, I think we another tick in the box. Yeah, yeah. Soybeans in, and uh, we were just looking before actually while we were out there working. The soybeans are actually at a good price to sell now, so I think next week we might try and get some of those sold, or at least you might be because I don't think I'll be here. That's right. Yeah, you're you're gonna about time you had a week off. <laughs> week, so, so, yeah, yeah. No, I may jump on next week. There's a few little jobs that need doing, isn't there? So yeah, we'll get all those tidied up. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank you as always. Apart from a few little server issues here and there, and uh, someone dumping a load of totes out of their <laughs> um, air cut, it was good fun. Yeah, guilty as charged. <laughs> and I'll uh, make sure I hold you up to that beer in a couple of weeks' time too. Yeah, I definitely owe you that one. There'll be a few of those drunk, I think. Here's hoping. Mm, indeed. Here's hoping. All right, buddy. Oh, you have a great week, and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. Likewise, mate. Yeah, chat to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Well, there we go. That is us done here at Hannah, Indiana for another week. Soybeans in, or most of the soybeans in. Just a few more to go, uh, which is great. Good to get those coming out because, as you saw, uh, they can make a decent amount of profit, and it'll be interesting to see how many litres and what our potential yield is going to be off that bin, uh, off that bin, off that field, because, uh, well, we've got 370 odd thousand dollars if FSG goes and gets those all sold next week be great uh, throw that in with the barley and uh, obviously what we've got planted a whole lot of corn a whole lot of wheat and now some soybeans uh, things are looking rosy things are looking very very good indeed anyhow that is it for us for another episode from the farm some guy and myself thank you all very much for watching hope you have enjoyed that and we'll catch you in the next one Hello FSG, how you doing? Good morning Args, how are you? I'm doing well mate, doing well. Looking forward to getting the rest of this wheat harvested. So uh, it was a good chore to get done on the live stream, getting this field done. Uh, we've got the one over the road to get done now too. Yeah, no, it was a good, uh, good live stream last night. I ran like clockwork after we opened the, the, the field heads. It was uh, smooth sailing, wasn't it? Yeah, it certainly was. It was. It went, went very well, which was nice. I didn't even actually look to see how much uh, wheat we ended up with, did you? No, I did not actually. No, oh, I might take a, a look. Time, take a quick peek now. That's not bad. Five hundred and sixty-six thousand liters. 
So uh, it's, it's not bad at all, really. When you think when what will come off this field as well? Yeah, that's uh, that's a good uh, good amount. Well, it's two hundred thirty-one thousand. So you add the two hundred eighty gram worth of barley together. That's over half a million dollars, and we're only what seven hundred fifty thousand away from being clear of our debt. So you tell you what, this wheat might just about do it. That's right, and I think um, yeah, we could maybe chat to the bank manager and confirm mm. that that debt's been cleared even though the crops aren't sold yet no the uh, the equity's there isn't it it is it is and uh well to top things off we've got a local farmer who caught the live stream wants to buy our straw he thought it was going to waste just uh chopping it up and throwing it on the ground so he's gonna pop around he's got a couple of tractors and balers he's gonna let us use and we're gonna bail that up for him and he'll come past and pick the bales up later and pay us a tidy sum for them well nice that's uh even more in the bank then isn't it hmm Hmm, no, I thought I wasn't going to say no to that opportunity. No, nope, good call, definitely. Right, well, uh, let's go and get these combines up and going. We're going to run all three of them on course play and carry on driving grain carts and trucks and things like that. Yep, that worked well last night, so let's uh, let's do that again. All right, let's get to it. Go and, I would say go and choose your weapon, but you're going to take the one with jewels, I know. <laughs> I always. Always, always predictable. It's predictable as leaving dirty equipment around the yard. Hey, I'm getting better. You are, you are. Right, let's get going. Let's do it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Hannah, Indiana. And I'm just looking, which one's he going to hop in? Because that's the one with the tracks. He can't do it. He's going to go and hop into the one with the jewels. There he is, sitting up there proudly. He's almost got a smile on his face. He's so excited to be up there. Right, let's see if we can sneak through here in front of the headers. We will jump in and uh, make our way over the road. Now, we've got the New Holland Combine is actually already up there. Uh, and we're going to set these guys going on course play, but what I might actually do, instead of trying to head all the way down the road with these headers on, I might just go straight over, open up the field from here, and set them going, and uh, then we can actually start the course play when we get down the other end. So we'll just get in here, get turned in, and get things underway. Now make sure we put our straw swath on, because we need to collect that for the local farmer, who is going to connect all of that, and there we go. In that nice uh, swath out the back because so there we go that's um that's impressive actually that we got so much wheat off that field and if i'm correct i'm pretty sure we have pretty much the same size field uh just here so uh we should get pretty much about the same same amount of value off this one as well um but i'll just go and to head all the way along here i might tell you i'm going to set up the course play down in the other corner and uh, we'll carry on arc zd fsg Go ahead, Alex. I just thought I'd manually cut this headland open on this end and set the course play going once we get up to the other combine. Yeah, that sounds good. Right. I was gonna, I was gonna join you about actually. I don't think I'll bother. I'll, uh, I'll just run behind you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So we'll get down to the other end. Uh, we'll get the new Holland up and going, and uh, then we should be good to go. Get into some harvesting. It's a nice field. Nice big and open field. Good long runs. Uh, just that little bit of an angle there where the trees are which makes it just a little bit more awkward on the turns but all in all should go pretty smoothly i'd imagine right we'll uh, get down to the corner get the course play up and going and get some workers cutting some wheat so we've got the combines up and moving on course play now the vagaries of this map this field boundary along here is incredibly narrow and depending on where you click to scan the field it actually tries to merge the field with that one next to us and make it one big field which obviously it is not so actually to facilitate course play working properly i had to send them off from over here just to make this a single field so a little bit of a nuisance but at least we can get things up and going so these are all up and running got the new holland up the front it's cutting along the uh, section that i'd already done and we've got the two class combines here following along now that we do know the new holland has a very short pipe so it does make it a little bit harder to unload and in fact auto drive hates using it so a uh, good thing fsg and i are both running the grain carts again similar to what we did in the live stream so it shouldn't take long with these three combines to get things all done but the saw, straw swathing all turned on and uh they're running pretty nicely which is good fsg two arcs go ahead mate just saying our auto drive is set up for this field field 15 load um, but I've just left the trucks out of the way while we um, cut the first headland out. Yeah, cool. So they don't clash. Yep, no, that's a good idea. Very a good idea. That was already about 30% off this combine full, just doing that short little bit. So looks like it's going to be Insane, another isn't it? bumper yield. We're quite good at this, aren't we? No, it's like we've been doing it for a few years now. <laughs> right, so there we go. All, uh, all up and going. I'm going to go jump in my grain cart because I want to try and get that new Holland before it gets too close to the trees. I might be a bit late, but uh, let's see if we can race it. 
Well, we got here just in time to at least get some of it emptied. Now, the good thing actually with this combine is it does have a much larger, larger uh, tank than the uh, the hopper on the top is much larger than the two class combines, so it can actually go for a lot longer before it's full. And uh, we've actually got a decent amount of space just on this first part. I think the trees might get a little bit closer as we get down on the angle section, which might make it a little bit harder to empty. But there we go. I think that's empty at the moment, so we might just let that carry on. We'll uh, run around behind it, get things set up we'll keep it going hopefully it doesn't get too full but at least if it does we can uh, be sitting there right and ready for it to be unloaded so i think you know what time it is we're gonna jump into a montage we love a harvesting montage uh so we'll catch you once we've got a little bit further through the field see how much wheat we end up with this is exciting i think we're getting very close to knocking off that debt We're just getting our grain cart emptied out, there it is, all done, and uh, I think we figured out we reckon FSG is going to be able to cover the rest of this field off just with the single grain cart, so we're going to go and park things up, we're going to head on down to the neighbour's place, grab his uh, couple of balers and tractors, and uh, get back up here and make a start on getting some baling done. It'd be great to get the straw and a little bit more in income, I know uh, we've been set a couple of times, why don't you bale your straw, why don't you keep it, um, but of course up until now, well, still until now, we don't actually have enough money to uh, buy our own equipment or at least the bank's permission to buy any equipment even though we do have the money for it uh, but this opportunity's come about where we can actually use some of the local farmers gear hasn't cost us a thing and in that fact he's going to buy the bales off us so uh, i think it's a win-win all around so we'll go down and grab that and uh, we'll be back here probably about the time the combines are just about finished so old mate down the road runs a case farm as you can see we've got a 7250 8950 both running about 260 horsepower and uh, a bit of older iron up the front but on the back is a couple of pretty brand new case square balers the LB436 capable of 180, 220 and 240 centimetre long bales so uh, we'll be able to get some decent sized straw now he wants them pressed into the 240s which is nice means there'll be less bales to count at the end to see exactly how many we've made i think looking across there pretty sure that's the combines and uh, fsg and everyone else on the very last part so uh, before we jump into starting bailing we might go and give him a hand to move all of those combines out of the field or we come and park them up over here on the grass or probably put them 
put the balers exactly where we want to put the combines, but uh, looks like my FSG is he on his way back? Can't tell. He is. Gosh, he must be full. Hasn't quite been able to get all of that in the one crank up, but that's fine. They'll get to the end of the rows and uh, we'll be able to come and park them up. Get the last of them unloaded, so uh, very impressed. Very impressed indeed. Well, that was pretty slick, Ox. We got through that field in double quick time. Yes, three combines really chewed through the wheat very, very fast. Uh, and I'm looking at a couple of nice little balers over your shoulder. Yeah, I saw you brought those down. Um, hmm. Nice to see some nice old case tractors there as well. Yeah, yeah, no, they pair pretty nicely with those couple of balers. So looking forward to giving those a run around here in the field and getting the straw bailed for the neighbour. Yeah, I bet it's not going to take us long as well. Those, uh, those balers look seriously mean. Mm, mm, no, they do some big bales, and uh, hopefully they'll run at a decent clip, so uh, I guess we might as well go and jump into it. Let's do it. Alright, well, uh, let's jump straight into some baling here, so we need to get this all unfolded, so we'll get that at the back there, lowered down, and uh, we'll get ourselves spun around here. Let's see if we can get started on this first swath. Now, I'm pretty sure I've set them all to 240 centimetres. Let's have a look. I had not. Maybe I only did the other one. There we go. It's a 240 centimetre bale. Work that lowered down. Turned on. Powered up. And head on down now. Like I said. 260 horsepower tractor. 230 horsepower demand here on the balers. So uh, no problem pulling this along here at all. And uh, we're going to get some nice big. What are they going to be? About 9,000 litre bales. Let's have a look when it comes out. 8 or 9. Must be closer to 9. Yeah, 9,000 litre bales, which is going to be fantastic. And the farmer Speedy give us 25 bucks per thousand litres. What's that? $175 per bale. Not too bad. We'll take that any day of the week, particularly when he's providing the gear to bale it with as well. Not a bad little money unit. Right, well, uh, I think FSG is he getting in behind us. There he is. He's lined up and getting started on the row there behind us. As long as we can stay on a straight and narrow, we'll be able to get this one up and underway and keep going. Right, there we go. Well, perfect time. Jump into another time lapse, or a time lapse. Of course, we've had the montage already, so we'll jump into a time lapse, get into it, and uh, get some bales made.
So I don't think uh, our neighbour's going to be short straw anytime soon. Look at all those bales. As they get out of view distance, there's even a few disappearing as we get further and further away. But uh, that is a good quantity. Now, I think we came to the realisation while we were chatting as we were doing that, that uh, we don't have the bale counter that came with the Vumir DLC. Obviously a free great game upgrade, but uh, we don't have that on here. There we go, nothing under the menu there. And I think being a multiplayer server, we don't actually have a statistics page that tells us how many bales there are. So we're either going to have to take an educated guess or uh, take a look and actually count them. We could actually pop them to the save game actually and probably count them that way. Uh, but we'll figure it out and figure out how much they're worth. But uh, there must be a fair few out here. Well, there definitely is a fair few out here. So uh, at 175 bucks a pop, I think we decided they were worth uh, it was at least an amount of money sitting out here in straw. So. Uh, not a bad choice to be able to do this and get these all bailed up. Nice to be able to use this different equipment. Haven't really used this setup like this before with the uh, older case tractors pulling these big case balers, but it's been nice. Doing a great job. Anyhow, looks like FSG's finished his pass. We will uh, get down to the end of this, stop and have a little bit of a chat to him. I hope you kept count. <laughs> I did, but I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, me too. It was, quite good fun, wasn't it? it was good fun. A little bit of a shame that the uh, bail counter wasn't working. I don't know whether it's just because we're on a multiplayer server or what the deal is with that. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Mm. Anyhow. Right, well, that's that job done. It is. The farmer's going to have fun coming and picking all of these up. I'm glad we're not doing it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But we should probably give him his uh, bailers back now. We probably should. How'd you find yours? Nice tractor. Yeah, I enjoyed my tractor actually. Some, got some good grunt in it. You had a bigger engine than me as well. I think they've actually horsepower wise they're quite similar but they both work nice, well. Nice, Did what uh, they needed nice, to. Row, nice row crop wheels on yours as well. Mm. Mm. You got some big fat wide ones on yours. Always, you know what I mean? Quite like a floater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sign of good health. Yes, yes. Good All diet. Right. <laughs> We're growing. Well, let's get these packed up and uh, I guess we can head on back down to the yard. We've got a whole lot of equipment to sort out down there too. We do, we do. All right, we'll see you back over see there. See you down there. Well, Ogs, um, there we go. Bale's done. Back in the yard, everything tidied away. You have some uh, You have some big news. I do have some big news. Um, this is my last ever video on Farming Simulator. <laughs> no, oh, don't be silly. Uh, no, the big news is we've got $680,000 worth of crops between our wheat and barley sitting in our silos, which, added to that $1.36 takes us $40,000 over the magic $2 million mark. So we've done it. Well, we've almost done it. We haven't sold it, but it's done. We haven't sold it, but it's in there. That's enough for the bank manager to take, I think, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Plus, we put on a 10% yield bonus with our uh, precision farming crop efforts and uh that'll add another 60 or seventy thousand dollars and uh not to forget we've almost got 500 pigs sitting down in the piggery and uh, some of those are worth almost a thousand dollars so there's over 100 grand worth of pigs sitting down there yeah we have um we've turned the fortunes of this farm around good and proper haven't we i can safely say that we have so much so that we've had an offer to head to another farm so um we're going to be leaving hannah indiana and we're going to be heading off to somewhere new Greener Which pastures. We're not doing out just yet, but we'll, uh, you will find out in all in good time. All in good time, yes, yes, we are going to make a move, and uh, this is obviously a little bit bittersweet, it's the last episode here on this farm, but uh, new adventures on the horizon, which is exciting. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Hmm. And I've, I have to say, Args, I have genuinely really, really enjoyed this series on this, on this map, it's been great. Hmm. Yeah, it's been a nice to get back to uh, the size and scale of farming, I'm not sure if we'll be quite the same in the... Next map, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, no, it's been fun. It has been good, and it's been a nice challenge, so it's nice to uh, pretty much tick that off. Yes, it has, it has. And uh, we've also decided that we're uh, going to release the game save with the updated map and a list of the mods that we've used as well, aren't we? That's right. We'll zip everything up and uh, put it somewhere we can share that with anyone who would like to carry on the adventure here. And uh, yeah, go for it. We loved watching everyone who did it on No Man's Land and carried on that little journey and how the arms there developed. So we'd love to be able to see someone do it here as well. 
That's right, and uh, there's some rather nice crops sitting in the ground that will be ready for harvesting in the not too distant future as well. So, mm, mm, that's a good thing to touch on. To start it. Yeah, lots of corn and a lot of soybeans. So, I reckon you could safely add another five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars onto that total as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Very good. All right. Well, All uh, right. in that note, so we'll sign off. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Ox. Mm. Like I said, this has been brilliant. Hmm. It will be a few weeks until our next episode as well, uh, with FarmCon coming up. That's right, yeah, yeah. But uh, looking forward to finally meeting you in person, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it should be a great weekend at FarmCon as well. Yeah. Hopefully you're better looking than this ugly thing standing in front of me. <laughs> uh, don't, don't count, uh, don't <laughs> hope, yeah, don't hold that much hope for that. <laughs> All right, mate, no, I am looking forward to it, it'll be fun. But anyhow, until then, take care, we'll catch you again soon. Yeah, likewise, mate. Take All care. Right. Bye-bye. See ya. Well, that's it. That is goodbye to Hannah, Indiana. It's, uh, it's been a blast, actually. I've really enjoyed this series. Been enjoying getting into the bigger equipment, getting back to some real hardcore arable farming. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun, and it was nice having that challenge of the $2 million target, which, uh, while we haven't sold the crops, we've got them in the bins, they are harvested, and we know exactly what they're going to be worth in a few months' time when it does come time to sell. And... As you just spin around here, this field of soybeans below us, there's corn either side of the yard, soybeans over the other way, there's canola down by the pigs, there is, uh, there's crops everywhere and there is money to be made. So like I said, I certainly hope someone does take on the challenge here, Hannah and Deanna will release the mods, they'll be on the Discord servers uh, in the Discord channel, so make sure you get in and uh, join us there so you can uh, carry on the adventure. Anyhow, for me... And from the farm some guy, thank you all very much for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed the series and hope you're looking forward to seeing where we turn up next. But for now, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.